Congratulations! You are given the opportunity to live a second life in another world. How many times have we seen a story with that sort of premise? Probably too many to count by now. We always see a character who would get themselves sent to another world and we would watch them live their fantasy in the other world and basically be the strongest, smartest, or most influential person in that entire world. But what if not just one person was sent to this world? What if an entire world was given that opportunity? What if an entire world was transmigrated into another world? What do you mean there are other transmigrators in my harem fantasy is a book that explores such a concept. The main character, who works as an author, was enjoying a slice of cake one night when a giant truck appeared from the sky and came crashing down on top of the world, completely destroying the world and wiping out humanity. When she regains consciousness, one of the ten gods of the new world was there to meet her and explained that a conflict between other gods had caused their world to be destroyed. But the main character was more upset that her cake was gone which amused the god and he gave her some additional benefits in creating her life in the new world. When she is sent to the new world to start living her new life, that is when the story really begins. She is hatched from an egg as a half-dragon to a single mother who gives her the name of Aster. The mother initially spoils her as her daughter before Aster expresses her desire to be strong enough to travel the new world and to explore all that it had to offer in order to write the best story she has ever written. Her mother then teaches Aster how to fight and survive in the mountains of where they live and it wasn't long before she learns how to use magic and dives into dungeons to fight monsters. Over time, she manages to increase her proficiency with one of her magic skills to be able to create clones of herself using shadows. But one day, when she was out training on her own, she meets a stranger that was playing a guitar, an instrument that should not exist in this world. It was another transmigrator. At first the interaction with the man seemed to be a friendly one and he even admitted that he knew Aster was also someone who had transmigrated to this world. But when she let her guard down a little, the man attacked her with the intention to kill, narrowly missing Aster as she used the skills she had obtained to escape. It was revealed that the transmigrator had offered his services to one of the gods who rejected the idea where the people from other worlds are brought to their world and offers power in exchange for the transmigrators to call the numbers of other transmigrators in her stead. Despite the skills she had obtained, the other transmigrator was far stronger than her and he even admitted that he had already killed off other transmigrators as well. When it looked like the transmigrator would win the fight, Aster's mother appeared on the scene and obliterated the other transmigrator, revealing the fact that she was far stronger than Aster had initially thought. The transmigrator that seemed to be completely unbeatable was helpless against Aster's mother. Just who was she? Aster finds out that her mother already knew that she was a transmigrator from the start and was aware that there were other transmigrators in this world. She explained that she was actually barren and the gods had granted her wish to have a child through Aster's reincarnation, which was why she doted on her so much. It's so nice when the main characters have supportive families, right? A few years passed and Aster has grown older, leading her to further her studies by attending a magic academy in one of the human kingdoms. That is where Aster came to know about a bandit group that had been going around robbing and terrorizing the people nearby. When she goes to investigate, she finds an orc hideout in a cave and learns that they were the ones behind it. She had thought that this was an ordinary bandit group at first until she realizes the bandit group was led by a transmigrator who had the complete wrong idea that the orcs he rescued were being abused by humans when in actual fact, they were bandits. He had broken the orcs out of their prisons and unknowingly created another bandit group where the orcs he rescued continued to pillage and rob under his name while the transmigrator himself thought he was leading a revolution for fair treatment of orcs. Despite Aster explaining the truth to the transmigrator, he did not believe her which resulted in a fight between the two. This time, Aster was more prepared and managed to beat the other transmigrator, disbanding the bandit group and capturing the delusional transmigrator. Those were just two transmigrators that have arrived in this new world and throughout the story, Aster would meet various others as well. That includes a self-proclaimed hero who believes that he is the chosen one and goes around telling people about him needing to defeat a demon lord even though there isn't one. Another transmigrator who used their other world knowledge to open a successful pastry chain. A transmigrator whose main goal is to live a quiet life and started their own farm. A few transmigrators who have banded together to start their own society. And even transmigrators who decided that being a villain was more fun. With so many transmigrators around, the locals of the world have begun to take notice and some of them were not as welcoming of them as compared to the others. Some had even decided that they should be eliminated and call them invaders of their world. What will happen in the future for the people of this world? So what do you think you would do as a transmigrator in this world? Maybe you would focus your life more on adventuring and exploring the new world? Or maybe you would just be content with a simple life? Or perhaps that is not enough and you would want to be one of the villains? 
There's no need to fantasize any longer because the author of this story has also made a character creator sheet that you can use to create your own character and become one of the transmigrators in this world. You can find the link to it in the author's Discord server. If you create an interesting character, it may even appear in the story too. So what are you waiting for? Become one of the transmigrators to this world today. Oh, look outside. I think I see a giant truck crashing down from the sky right now.